everyone, welcome back. So I am filming my Friday favorites slash haul. And I was gonna film a Friday favorites, but I just posted my June favorites yesterday because I was super late at posting my June favorites. And then I've been on the road and I last week I did a favorites where I showed you like everything in my travel case. I literally just got back yesterday. I've been using almost the same products for the entire, almost like two weeks now. So I don't really have any new favorites. So today, since I only have one product that was like a favorite this week that I know I haven't talked about, then I just thought I would show you guys a haul. I went to MAC and I went to Sephora. There are a bunch of different things that I've ordered online or gotten um, as press samples. So I thought I would just show you guys like a, a haul for my Friday favorites. So how about that? Okay, let's just start with the one product that was my favorite this week and past couple of weeks. I've had these in my purse. I know I've spoken about them before, but they are Clarins Glosses. Now, I hadn't heard anything about these until a girl that I followed on an app called, it was called Keek, and I've since deleted that app. I just didn't use it as much, and I think everyone's kind of moving to Snapchat. But her name is Jennifer. Colorado Jennifer. I know she still watches my videos. I love and adore her. Just the prettiest, just, I loved all of her looks. I literally pulled inspiration from her. So I would watch her keeks and she would talk about these glosses from Clarins. So I picked some up a while ago. They've been in my purse, like I said. These are just the real deal. These are, I think they're called the Gloss Protégé. This one is in Nude and this one is in water lily. These are so, so beautiful. They smell so good, but they, I just love them. They're the most non-sticky gloss I've ever tried in my life. Just pure, smooth, not tacky at all. They just have the sweetest smell, but it's like a sweet, fruity scent. These are great glosses for shine. They're not super pigmented, but they're that really nice, glossy shine, a great topper on top. I love to just top them on top and people are like, your lips are so shiny, what gloss are you wearing? So I'll show you the two colors. Out of them, I really like the nude one to top on nudes and then the more like corally one to top on coral, pink, peach, any type of color like that. But here they are right here. This is the nude one and that is the water lily one. I probably use this one a little bit more just because I've been wearing more pinks and stuff recently. But I love these and if you want really, really shiny, beautiful, gorgeous lips, like let me just put a little bit of this on. It's just like it adds, it has like a little bit of shimmer in it, but not like you can't feel it at all. And it just adds the most glorious shine and you can even smell them like they're such good smelling fruity, nice smelling glosses. So really been loving these this week and the past couple of weeks. I mean, like I said, I've had them in my purse, so they've been constant favorites, but I had to talk about that. Okay, on to my haul now. So I have done a little online shopping, and then when I went to see Dana in Houston, we went to Sephora, so I got a few things there and Matt. So I'm just gonna start with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I got this in the mail. I haven't really had time to use this yet. I know this has been out a while. I love the contour, um, the regular contour kit. So this is the eye contour kit. And I used two of the colors right here, just on my lash line. But besides that, I haven't used this enough to say anything about it. Other than it looks like a really beautiful smoky palette. I like how it's like quadrants, like a very neutral quadrant, a kind of cool smoky quadrant, and then a warmer quadrant. So that's going to be fun to try out. Very, very pigmented shades. I mean, all matte, super, super pigmented. I just like the fact that if you're looking for anything matte, I love a really great matte eye, but this is not just for a smoky eye. Like you could do a very natural look with it. So I'll do a few looks with it, gonna try it. But yeah, I'm excited to um, dig into this. Okay, I have a few lipsticks from House of Dolls that I wanted to show. Look at the packaging. Really, really beautiful packaging. 
white tops, gold. They like stand up. This is just really, really nice packaging lipsticks. They're relatively inexpensive. Um, I have three colors here. This one is called Cake Killa. And it's just a really beautiful like peachy, peachy shade right there. And this one is called Pretty MF. This is like a more orangey coral nude, but like very, very pale. And then this shade is called She, and I've worn this a few times. I love this. It's like a very pale, uh, really pretty, very wearable, light, nudie pink. How many descriptive words can I get? Probably more if I try. These lipsticks are extremely pigmented. I have loved them. They go on very creamy, very nice. They that like don't like wear off. They're like not too creamy or buttery where they just wear off. They stay on the lips. I really like the color selection. I think there's only like five or six colors, but those were like the three most wearable colors, I think, from the line. So really been enjoying those. Okay, next up are a few products from Natasha Denona. I saw this brand um, talked about by a couple of people. Um, everything on her website is amazing and gorgeous, and I ordered a few more products. I ordered some eyeshadow products, but I just thought I would show you the things that I have received so far. This is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation SPF 15. I got the shade in... Oh, I forget which shade I got and it doesn't say it on here. It's very, very light and pale, but it does give a beautiful glow. I have this mixed um, in my foundation today with the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced and I love it. It just gives such a like dewy, youthful look. I would say it's like medium coverage, medium. It's, it's not the most full coverage at all. So if you're looking for coverage, this isn't it, but it's a great foundation for, I would say like every day in the summer. So I'm a lip junkie, so I had to try some of the lip products. I have been loving these. I got two of the lip glazes. These are extremely pigmented. They're not even a lip glaze. They're like a full pigmented lip gloss. The, the colors that I got were 03 Rosy Nude, and then the one that I was wearing today before I put on that Clarins Gloss was 02 Rosy Lilac. So two and three. She has a lot of very light colors and then some dark colors as well. I have like a brush, not a doe foot applicator, but like a brush. They're not sticky, but they are They're thick. They're thick. They're not like you would think a glaze would be. So this is two and this is three. So three is a lot um, lighter as you can see they have a really nice shine to them and then three is like more of that like pinky like mid-tone pink color. Very very beautiful glosses. They smell really nice. I like the packaging. Just the sleek with white and then the lettering on here is white saying Natasha Denona. And I picked up one of the lipsticks. This color is in um, the Shiny Formula, number 55, Smoky Rose. Again, really nice packaging. Kind of when you twist it up, this part of it feels a little bit not as heavy as I'd like for a lipstick. I believe the price of these are around 25 so I'd like the tube to feel a little bit more sturdy, if that makes sense. Um, but I really like this color. It is very pale, but it's almost like a taupey, like it says, smoky nude shade. So there, that color is right there. Definitely like this more topped with a gloss because it is rather nude pale. But if you're looking for a really great pale nude with a little bit of a smokiness to it, this is the perfect shade. I don't think that I have anything that similar to this. So love this lipstick. NARS is launching their fall collection. They sent me a few goodies for press and I just wanted to share them with you. I'm really, really excited about one of these because if you guys are a fan of Chelsea Girls lip gloss from NARS, it was like a potted lip gloss, a lip lacquer. They did away with it. Everyone was like devastated because it's such a beautiful peachy shade. They came out with a gloss. Thank you, NARS. So it's a beautiful peachy pink shade. This one is a little bit more peach than the last one. If you're interested in a swatch comparison to them, I listed it on my, or post, I listed it, I listed it. I posted a picture on my Instagram, so you can go and check there. 
and see if you like can tell the slight difference if you're curious about if you already have the old one or if you're like one girl said or someone commented like I've been savoring my potted gloss so I'm so glad that they're coming out with the lip gloss so yeah these will be launching I believe July 15th at NARS.com and then Sephora they'll come to Sephora around August so definitely get your hands on it it's so so beautiful my Instagram name is Lola Lynn Mitchell so, so if you're not following me Go follow me on there so you can see some swatches because I like to post swatches of some stuff when I get it. And follow me on Snapchat. I've really been loving Snapchat recently. I could call that a favorite. I could call that a favorite. I, when we were visiting our friends for 4th of July, like the guy, my husband's best friend, is super like... Um, we like to call him like a show pony, like he likes to just be like in the spotlight. So he's like, show me your Snapchat, like I want to Snapchat people. And I'm like, uh, I'm not quite sure about that, like I don't want you to take my phone. He kept like taking my phone, he wanted you guys to Snapchat him, a bunch of you guys did. We even got a tour from Hawaii, so... It was like the most amazing thing ever because she was like showing us all the buildings. And then we did live streaming with her. We could see her, she couldn't end up seeing us, but she could hear us, but we did some live streaming and saw all of Hawaii, but it was like the funnest thing. So anyways, where was I going with that story? Oh, follow me on Snapchat, I guess. I'm not quite sure where I was going. This is Chelsea Girls. As you can see, it's just like a beautiful peach color. This is a little bit more peach, like I said, than the original. Has a slight more hint of pink to it, but pretty darn close. Looks the same on the lips. Love this gloss. Very, very nice and pigmented. So I'm real, I think a lot of people are excited about this gloss to launch. Also launching are some velvet shadow sticks. I have two colors. One is in Goddess, which is like a rose gold champagne, and the other one is in Aguile Noir. And this looks like more of a, I would say, smoky green. Kind of, it has like a hint of green to me. And then Goddess is just a beautiful, like, rosy gold champagne. So that one is Goddess. That one is the Agal Noir. I will write the name, okay? Because I can't say it, of course. Also, they're launching a few more of these dual intensity eyeshadows. I love these. You can use wet or dry. This one is Telesto. And it is just a beautiful, I would say, bronzy shade. So there that color is right there. Reminds me a lot, honestly, of Smog from uh, Urban Decay, but just a really nice, beautiful, easy to wear bronze shade. And then the blush, which I think this looks more like, blah, blah, blah. I think this looks more like a highlight to me. It's like a, it's called Tribulation. So it's described as a rose bronze, but like let me just show you does this not look like a highlight shade and even when you swatch it very very like frosty and almost like golden so I don't know I don't know this honestly it just looks like like that's not a blush this is like a highlight shade yes do you see that right here it's beautiful but I mean maybe a blush topper but definitely more of a highlight shade right there so it's really beautiful, really, really is. It's almost like a glow, a really beautiful glow. So, what with a like white gold running through it. So I don't know why I would call this a blush, but it is beautiful. So those are the things from NARS. Thank you to NARS for sending me those so that I can try them out. I'll definitely try and incorporate them more into some looks so you guys can see them. But yes, just keep an eye out coming to NARS.com July 15th and to Sephora on August 1st. Okay, I picked up two things really quick. These are kind of boring from MAC. Um, I have loved and worn this Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara for my bottom lashes. I picked up a new one because the old one was kind of drying out a little bit. So that's this. It has a really nice small wand. Gets to the lower lashes. Best lower lash mascara I've ever used. And I just like it for all over. Um, just because it has a really nice skinny wand and I feel like it builds volume. It's not too wet. It's like the perfect mascara. Everyone loves and uses MAC. I've never owned it before. So just big bottle of brush cleaner and I guess you just put a little bit out on uh, damp paper or 
damp paper towel. I guess you just put a little bit out on a paper towel and then you can just like swirl it around and really, okay, there it went. And really spot clean your brushes. I'm like throwing stuff everywhere. Okay, next up is from Sephora. And okay, I watch Nikki tutorials. I think she's gorgeous. I love her skin. Every single time she uses this foundation, I'm like, can I get a what what? So I went to look for it on Sephora because Sephora just started to carry um, Kojindo. And this is the Aqua Foundation in the color 123, which is the color she listed. It was sold out forever. Finally, I got the notification. It was back in. I picked this up. I cannot wait to wear it. Just a really beautiful foundation that is hydrating. Just rubbed it in. I don't know why I didn't just show it to you. Um, but it just gives a really nice dewy look to the skin she said that it what she goes for if she wants to look like a porcelain doll but still have her skin be looking good the way that this feels on my hand and blends into my skin i know i'm going to love it it doesn't really have very much of a scent to it but it really looks like just perfect skin so it melds right into your skin i cannot wait to wear this foundation Definitely gonna let you guys know about she it. She highly recommends it and uses it in almost every single tutorial and I always love the way her skin looks. So I was really excited to try this. It is rather pricey, so I'll definitely let you guys know how it works for me. I have normal to sometimes dry skin, so just for to keep that in mind. Um, and this is an aqua foundation, so I'm gonna have to read up a little bit more. It says down here that it gives a sheer luminous finish, but I don't think it does because the one that she said said gives her really full coverage so we'll see it diffuses appearance of pores and imperfections since it's an aqua foundation it has no artificial colors fragrance petroleum based mineral oil paraben or alcohol so i guess it doesn't have any of the bad stuff we'll we will see reapply for areas requiring more coverage setting power is optional know how it works for my skin maybe i picked up the wrong one i swear that's the one that she listed so we will see how that works out. Oh, I'm sure that's what everyone's doing. So I picked up Champagne Pop from Becca, the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. Everybody's been going crazy for this. I like set my alarm. I was so excited for this. It is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It is a little bit slightly more peach tone than opal, but it's like a beautiful, ugh. I didn't put a highlight on today because I wanted to use it, so there it is right there. It's super gorgeous. I actually heard that this is a very close dupe to um, Whisper of Guilt from MAC, so I'm going to just put a little bit on today because, like I said, I didn't put any highlight on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa, I just like totally went overboard right here, but I couldn't help it. Okay, I totally went overboard, but look at that highlight. Bam, bam. It's so pretty. Uh, good job, Jacqueline. I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. So I ordered that and it finally, finally came. Mwah. Okay, so I've heard a lot of buzz about these new Buxom eyeshadows. I picked them up. I'm wearing this palette today. This is Dolly's Wild Side. Now you can create your own palettes. They have the, the um, eyeshadows individually, or you can go with some of the pre-made palettes. So I went with this one because I really just liked the colors in there. It comes with like a little brush. But this is the palette right here. The shades are super buttery and beautiful. So incredible and buttery, like I said. They're just super pigmented. Even the mattes are super pigmented. I really love them. I like this palette a lot. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of the palette. I'm just going to swatch a few of them right here for you. There's so many different shades though, so like if you want to make your own, oh look at that, they're so pretty. Even if you want to use this palette, this slides out and you can change the shadows out. So if you're interested in making your own palette or like in one of the colors in there you didn't love but you loved another one, you can still like pop them into this palette. Or if you use the color up, you can pop a new one in. I really like the idea. Like I said, that is what is on my eyes today. So I do really like it. And uh, the shades are, like I said, very, very pigmented. That's a beautiful cranberry shade. I kind of have that in the outer 
corner and then blend it through the crease. Someone has been telling me, and thank you to whoever you are, about the Ultimate Oil and Gel Lipstick Remover from Sephora. This is what I picked up to remove some of my swatches when I'm doing swatches in here. Thank you, because this is really gonna help um, take some of those off, so I'm gonna keep that in here for when I do swatches, and I will let you guys know. Um, Ardency Inn recently came out with some new products, and they came out with this uh, Easy Ride Supercharged Liquid Liner. They sent this to me, and it's just a really nice felt tip, very small black, super, super black liquid liner, and I love it. It dries extremely matte and black. Another thing that I got as a bigger sample is the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced. This is in the color sand. It's a little bit dark, so I did mix it with the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation today, um, just for because that one's a little bit lighter. I really, really like this. I know that I'm going to get the full size. It's just the most beautiful coverage and finish. Really great foundation. So if you are looking for a new one, I don't think this is launched in stores yet. I know you can buy it online at Sephora, but it wasn't in store when I went to look in store. So, um, but I will definitely do a video, an upcoming video on this foundation because I think I'm going to get the full size. Kathleen from Kathleen Lights was talking about this in videos a while ago. The Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight, 01 Highlight. As if I needed another highlighter, but I picked this up. So I couldn't help myself. I really, really couldn't. It's beautiful. It's like a highlight if you, even if you have mature skin, I think you could wear this because it's not too like bam but it's just enough. It really is that like radiance lit within type highlight. Very close to Kevin Aquan's candlelight. It's just so beautiful. I think I'm gonna really love this. I've only worn it once since I got it, so I can't really say, but just swatching it and blending it into the skin, it's one of those like glowing from within highlights. So if you're looking for a good natural looking but still radiant highlight, I think this will be a good one to pick up. I hope you guys didn't mind me doing a little bit of a haul on my Friday favorites, because like I said, I don't have favorites and I'm not gonna just pull them from my tail to have a Friday favorite favorites for you. So I thought that this would be better just because I wanted to show you guys some of the new things that I picked up so that you knew and could request videos if you wanted them as well as share those Clarins glosses with you because those were some new favorite products to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave some of your favorites down below, but you know, because just because I didn't have any this week doesn't mean you didn't have any this week. So go ahead, leave some of those down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love your support and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.